bitch when a man has to wait two more I think everyone knows the Philadelphia story, made famous, of course, Cary Grant, Catherine Hepburn movie, beautiful, romantic. It's that thing you, you know, you watch on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. But most people haven't seen the stage version of it, which is in fact how Catherine Hepburn really made her, her name with this project on Broadway, you know, in the 40s. And these are our friends, Father. Mr. Carner and Miss Imbry, they're here for the wedding. How are you? When putting an epic production like this together, the very first and most important thing is who's playing Tracy Lord. Catherine Hepburn did it, so who you're going to have. And I knew from the, the, the roster of great talents at the Shaw Festival, I knew exactly who, was, who I wanted, and it was Moya O'Connell. My sweet. Mother, uh, don't you think you ought to explain the, uh, the new arrangement to Father before lunch? It's such a fun role to play. Yeah, you get bounced around between three men. Well, four if you count Father, because it's at the center of the story. There's, it's a really beautiful story about reconciliation between father and daughter. Um, be, and because she is such a complicated, idiosyncratic, fun, irreverent character, it's so juicy and delightful. Of course, I intended to come anyways, but it did make it much pleasanter. For me, it's about a guy who was in, desperately in love with this girl, who, to him, she just never was human enough. And she, so to me, it's that fight, that battle of trying to get the person you love to recognize their humanness. A big part of the Philadelphia story is the production, and the production is gigantic. It's f this, produ this physical set fills our stage. It's a big, beautiful room that transforms through, this, through three very extensive and expensive revolves to a garden. So this is an opulent design by William Schmuck, uh, which was built and, and designed and created at the Shaw Festival, where the play ran all summer for 85 performances. Um, and then they put it in a truck, and they reassembled it all here perfectly, and it fits beautifully on our stage. This is my first time in Calgary um, and at Theatre Calgary. I've been very, very charmed and seduced by the city. I have to say I went cross-country skiing yesterday um, and uh, I got white-hatted. Um, so it's been really, people have been really rolling out the carpet to give us a warm welcome here and it's been a really charming time. Uh, Miss Embry, uh, do you mind if I go in with Mr. Connor? Why not in the least? This is escapism time. I plan this right now at this time of year because it's winter and we need to be warmed up. Bring someone you love, hold their hand, and remember why you fell in love with them in the first place. The that? Philadelphia Story at Theatre Calgary will be on stage yeah, until February 22nd and you can get tickets by going to theatrecalgary.com. <laughs>